Imagine Time TV presents I'm No Different Than You by Jamie Mahaffey and Christy High, illustrated by D.G. Hi, my name is Kayla. I'm 10 years old and I'm a typical girl. I like unicorns, writing, and listening to music. I'm in the fifth grade and will be going to a new school soon to start sixth grade. I'm nervous about starting a new school because I don't know how the kids will react when they find out I have sickle cell disease. I had a special test done on my blood when I was born and that's how my parents discovered I have sickle cell disease. When I got older, they started teaching me about sickle cell disease and how to take care of myself. My doctor explained that sickle cell disease is a genetic condition I was born with. It causes my red blood cells to look different. Instead of being soft and round like a donut, a lot of my red blood cells are shaped like a sickle and are hard and sticky. This makes it difficult for them to move through my body and sometimes they get stuck. When that happens, it causes pain due to limited blood and oxygen flow to parts of my body. My doctor calls it a pain crisis. I need to go to the hospital, get medicine to make me feel better, and make sure I don't have any other medical complications. My mom always says it takes a special superhero like me to battle sickle cell disease. Friends at my old school knew how to help me when I wasn't feeling well, but they won't be with me at my new school. Good morning, boys and girls. We have a new student joining us today, my teacher announced. Now, let's all make Kayla feel welcomed. Everyone had been nice to me so far. Amy and her mom even brought my homework to me when I missed school last week. My mom explained to Amy's mom that I was in the hospital because of a pain crisis. When I went back to school, all the kids treated me differently. They didn't want to play with me at recess or sit next to me during lunch. I was so confused, sad, and angry. I thought Amy, Chloe, and Cecilia were my friends, and I didn't understand why they were being so mean. I just wanted them to like me and be my friends. The next day, I decided to sit next to Amy, Chloe, and Cecilia like I used to. What do you think you're doing? Chloe asked as I sat down with my lunch tray. I'm eating lunch with you all, my friends, I told them. We don't want you near us, Cecilia quickly replied. Yeah, ew, go away, Chloe said as she turned her back toward me. With tears swelling in my eyes, I thought, how can my friends treat me this way? Amy said, I'm sorry, Kayla, but we don't want to catch sickle cell disease from you. When I got home from school, I just laid in my bed and cried. I couldn't understand why Chloe, Amy, and Cecilia thought they could catch sickle cell disease from me. What's wrong, Kayla? Mom asked. Did you have a bad day at school? I didn't want Mom to worry or be burning with another one of my problems. Mom hugged me and said, everything will be all right. Whatever is going on, I will help you. I couldn't hold back my tears any longer. I collapsed into her arms as I cried. Chloe, Amy, and Cecilia don't want to be around me. They think I will give them sickle cell disease. I thought they were my friends. I'm never going back to school. I just can't face them again, Mom. I'm sorry that happened to you. Mom said as she wiped away my tears. Sometimes people are afraid of things they don't understand. Maybe Chloe, Amy, and Cecilia don't know what sickle cell disease is. Maybe if you explained it to them, they would no longer be afraid. Mom spent the rest of the night giving me ideas and ways I could talk to the other kids about my sickle cell disease. 
I spent the next few weeks coming up with a master plan of what I was going to say, not only to Chloe, Amy, and Cecilia, but to all the people in my school. I was determined to help them understand that even though I have sickle cell disease, I am no different than them. As I sat in class, I decided today would be the day. I was going to teach them everything I knew about sickle cell disease and let them know they didn't have to be afraid of me. Suddenly, the teacher announced, Class, we have a special presentation today. In walks someone from my doctor's office. It's Mr. Whitehurst. He works at my doctor's office and helps kids and families teach others about sickle cell disease. He must be here to help me explain sickle cell disease to everyone. This is what my mom meant when she said she would help me. Everyone listened carefully as Mr. Whitehurst spoke. Why can't you just take medicine to make sickle cell disease go away forever? You know, like a cure, Samuel asked. Well, for right now, there is no cure for sickle cell disease, but researchers are looking for one. Chloe raised her hand and asked, Can someone with sickle cell disease give it to you if they touch you or sneeze on you? Sickle cell disease is not contagious, boys and girls. Mr. Whitehurst explained, You can't catch it from someone. It is passed down through genes you get from your mom and dad, just like brown eyes or dimples. It's the way you are born, and no one should be treated differently because of the way they are born. Mr. Whitehurst went on to explain, Kids with sickle cell disease are just like every other kid. They want to play with their friends, and they want other people to understand that. While they do have some special health needs, they can do anything you can. It is very important to include them in activities and treat them with kindness and understanding, like you would any other person without sickle cell disease. Kiara raised her hand and said, we can help Kayla stay healthy by reminding her to drink water and rest when she needs to. That's right, said Mr. Whitehorst. Later, during recess, kids talked to me again and even asked me to play kickball. After the game, Chloe said to me, I'm really sorry. I didn't know what sickle cell disease was. I just knew you were sick and missed a lot of school. I didn't want that to happen to me. We're sorry too, Kayla. Amy and Cecilia said, Will you forgive us? How can we help you stay healthy? They asked. After exchanging hugs, I spent the rest of recess explaining to my friends how I manage my sickle cell disease and stay healthy. Thank you for reading I Know Different Than You with us today on Imagine Time TV. Would you like to have your own copy of this book? If so, see the link below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so we can continue to bring you more fun books. We'll see you next time on Imagine Time TV where we read, learn, and imagine.